Happy Air Max Month. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and again, happy Air Max Month. Thank you for tuning in today. If you have not already, please subscribe, hit that like button and drop a comment down below. I hope that you've been able to cop every Air Max that your heart has desired this very special month of March. Today we have a sneaker that um, was highly coveted regardless of the colorway and what the colorway symbolizes. So without further ado, Let's get to the kicks. It's a beautiful shoe, man. The, the tones just hit. And then you have like pops of red throughout the shoe, just in different places like this logo here. And you got your, your clear fly wire with the, with the white mesh. Man, just real pretty. You got your big body LeBron logo with the crown, L23 themed sneaker i really do love the touch um that they did with the stitching to make it look like the seams on a baseball like very dope and uh it being red just makes it really stand out box it has like an embossed palm tree just very very nice subtle touches to it Bottom, you have your holographic LeBron James logo with inscription on it. And then last but not least, the most important part of the shoe, the Air Max unit. Then something, you know, just little touches, the details. I love the details on sneakers. Got your 23 on the left and the right shoe. So I am a fan of this particular colorway. I mean, uh, the blue really does pop on it. And you have like little, little leaves throughout that really gives you a California vibe to it, an LA vibe to it. But I am not a fan of the Dodgers. Um, respect and salute to Jackie Robinson. Um, the late great Chadwick Boseman, but no, I grew up in Houston, Astros fan, and that's probably all I have to say on that. But I do like this iteration of the Air Max LeBron 7. Originally, this shoe, this silhouette released in 2009, it was the first shoe that Jason Petrie collaborated with LeBron on. After making so many shoes, um, just like one offs here and there. He became the head of design for LeBron's signature line. And what he did with it, um, he, took, he took LeBron's line to another level. He actually paid attention to LeBron. He actually heard LeBron, listened to LeBron, and created the shoe that could be rocked off the court as well as performed in on court. With the LeBron 7, Air Max became relevant in basketball again. The LeBron Six that preceded um, did not did not receive many favorable reviews. It was one of the the most least liked shoes from the signature line of LBJ. So the Seven, it although it there was a lot of tension and a lot of pressure to knock this one out of the park, it. It, it did more. It exceeded expectations. One note of this line of this silhouette were the colorways. Like before, you know, they did experiment a little bit with the LeBron signature line. But the colorways on this on this shoe were just crazy. They were they were phenomenal. You had your Dunkman series that, you know, has been around on the LeBron Sig for a very long time. You had your your one your one. 12 dj clark kent you had your hardwood classics you had your china moons that we saw retro uh i believe last year you had your red carpet colorway and just um a barrage of other colors what i did like and i applaud nike for this this is one thing that nike has gotten right within the last year they brought back the silhouette 
and they introduced new colorways to it, like the ones that we looked at today. But then also you had your Lakers along with the Air Max being introduced to this shoe you also had other tech you had your fly wire tech which was introduced in order to strip the shoe of some materials that may have weighed down lebron as he played basketball so with introducing the fly wire um it, it made the shoe a little bit more breathable allowed lebron to have a little bit more wiggle room but it still was a lockdown experience so yeah with with the lebron 7 with the air max lebron 7 being created um that was the beginning of jason petrie's run I mean, my favorite silhouette out of the signature line will probably always be the LeBron 8, the shoe that introduced to us the South Beach theme. Really trying to get my hands on that retro this year. Like, that's, <laughs> that's number one on my list for the year out of every sneaker that will be dropping it. But then you had the 9 afterwards, and you also had the 10. Now, of course, you can accredit some of that hype uh, being that LeBron did make that move to Miami, and they were in the finals every year. He was there. But outside of that, just the technology in those shoes, um, the on-the-court, off-the-court wearability, they were just some of the best shoes created that dropped at the time. And for that four-year period, they pretty much were Nike basketball. Like, the LeBron line was Nike basketball. Drop down your thoughts on this shoe in the comment section. Um, what are your thoughts on the colorway? What are your thoughts on the seven as a whole? And, and what, what are you looking forward to coming out later this year? One last thing, though, on Nike. Um, I wasn't going to go there, but they have really been fumbling a lot this year. So this shoe was originally supposed to be released on February 23rd. Um, a lot of rumors. We got the official images and everything like that. They did drop, but not in the U.S. Um, you know, as you know, Nike introduced a, a little while ago that every the 23rd of every month this year would be reserved for a LeBron watch sneaker. And I remember the night before, you know, in different group chats and everything, being excited, setting up, getting ready to, to, to cop the shoe or try to cop the shoe that morning. And they dropped the LeBron 18. It's starting to it's starting to look like another LeBron 14 or 15 fiasco with this with this um uh, 18. Like you don't really see LeBron wearing it. Like if you watch the Lakers games, he's not wearing that shoe. And I remember it might not have been the 15, it might have been the 13 or the 14 where he just did not wear the shoe. Um it was the year when he won it in Cleveland. That year, I mean, I know you. Many of you may remember the the championship pack that dropped. It wasn't the LeBron um, thirteen or fourteen that dropped in that pack. So hopefully that's not what's going on. Maybe you know they just got to revise some tech in it or something for him to want to wear them. But like that was very sad to get that shoe on. LeBron watch day. And with that being said, that's all my thoughts for the show today. Until next time, peace.